A robotics company based in Nanaimo is making a name for itself around the globe, doing it all from the depths of the ocean. Unmanned robots that were invented and built by Mid-Island engineers are breaking ground, capturing video, and doing research in some of the planet's most hostile environments. As CTV's Scott Cunningham shows us, innovators behind these cutting-edge machines could do their work anywhere in the world, but they say Vancouver Island gives them their best chance to succeed. This is what a day at the office looks like for Seymour Marine. Exploring shipwrecks or collecting samples of sea life never before photographed is a passion. A group of Nanaimo inventors have turned into a career. I believe our future is there, down below in the big blue. The future for their latest invention is a research site near a remote Portuguese island. The Nanaimo company is pushing the limits of what can be done beneath the waves. That means inventing things, that means being innovative, that means thinking way outside of the box. And the robotics firm is being noticed. India, Japan, Korea, uh, Australia. The list of foreign buyers doesn't end there. Oh, Russia, China. Netherlands. Struggling to remember all their orders is a sign of success. From the Discovery Channel to BBC and foreign governments, the list is getting longer. It's important for us to really be highlighting that in the success stories. Paris Goudet says Nanaimo's technology sector is too often overlooked, that the city is still hanging on to its industrial roots when it should be looking forward. A lot of people don't know this, but Nanaimo is number four for technology in British Columbia. And so we need to tell that story a little bit better. Pictures from the deep and robotic arms with technology never before dropped into the ocean. We'd like to push our uh, limit of technology to the deepest possible. The company is helping Nanaimo emerge as a technology leader above and below the waves and say they aren't going anywhere. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Nanaimo.